Hi children, it's Mr. Harris here and I'm bringing you another science lesson that you can do at home um, and this experiment is going to blow you away. Um, you only need two objects for this. Um, one of them is an item I had to look up, something called a hairdryer. I had to find one of these, thankfully. Um, and a ping pong ball. Uh, you can get these from places like Sports Direct or supermarkets. You can get a few super cheap and it's great if you get them with some ping pong paddles as well because it's fun to do. Okay, before we start the experiment, I'm going to talk you through some of the science. So, as you can see there, the only requirements for today's experiment. Now, we're going to be looking at gravity today. Gravity is a force that pulls objects towards each other. You can see this in action all the time really. It's what keeps us on the ground and if you knock something off a table or something like that it's the gravity that pulls it towards the surface. So we are going to see what happens when we place a ping pong ball on top of a hairdryer and turn it on. Um, you might be able to make a prediction here. So there's a couple of sentences that you could use. I predict that the ping pong ball will. Because of gravity, the ping pong ball might, so we're using some modal verbs there, and now we're going to have a go. Okay, just before we start, children, it is important that you ask the person who owns the hairdryer that they're, they are happy for you to use it. And secondly, we care about the environment here, so I'm going to use the setting on mine that is the cold setting, a bit like a snowflake, a bit of frost there, um, just because that uses less energy. We don't need it to be heated up. So, you're going to take your ping pong ball, carefully balance it on top of the hairdryer, and I'm going to start by just turning it on the first setting. And as you can see, the ping pong ball is floating in air. I might be able to move sideways with it. Might be able to go the other way. Is it magic? I'm going to try and turn the power up a bit more now. Kind of moves, do a little spot with it. Oh, 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 oh. I wonder what happens if you do use the hot setting. Hmm, it seems to be floating around a bit. And then I'm going to turn it off. And sure enough, gravity works its magic. So, children, what's going on there? Well, that is not magic, as I said. That is gravity and air pressure. So, the ping pong ball flies up when you turn the hairdryer on until the force of gravity is the same as the force of air coming from the hairdryer. The air from the hairdryer is moving much faster than the air around it, and because the air is moving faster, it has less pressure than the air around it. So the ball is in an area of low pressure, and the high pressure surrounding it means the ball just kind of stays in that little area. Okay? So that is the experiment for today. Um, you could try some other things. Could you get two ping pong balls going? Uh, what about a tennis ball? Is this likely to float in the same place? What makes a difference? Can you get anything to float? What objects can you use? As usual, send your photos to your year group email address. They're all written in there. I love to see the photos. Okay, have a good week. Bye.